Raymond Gallagher jogs through the Wallkill River National Wildlife Refuge, but he had no idea he was crossing paths with gender-crossing fish. This is really concerning for me because, uh, you know, I like this area, I live around this neighborhood. Over the last several years, the U.S. Geological Survey has tested the water and nearly 300 fish in 19 wildlife refuges in the Northeast, including the Wallkill River and Morris County's Great Swamp. It found that something in the water is tampering with the hormones of 85% of the male smallmouth bass and a quarter of the male largemouth bass and causing them to develop female reproductive traits. Fred Pinkney co-authored the study. It resonates with the public when you see things like this that scientists frankly don't fully understand. One male largemouth bass from the Great Swamp, but all five male smallmouth bass from the wall kill showed the female traits. It's a phenomenon researchers say they're finding across the country and the world, leading some to wonder if this is naturally occurring. Really, this is just pointing attention to the widespread nature of this problem. As a society, America has gotten smart about disposing of medications. That is, after years of flushing birth control pills and other prescription meds down the toilet, only to have them show up in waterways. In the wall kill, researchers suspect it's one of several culprits or a combination of pharmaceuticals from human waste that the upstream water treatment plant can't filter, or antibiotics fed to livestock, or pesticides from farm runoff. Pinkney says the wall kill points to human influence because all five fish are intersex. It qualifies the popular New Jersey to New York fishing spot for a follow-up study. In the meantime, researchers and river keepers wonder about the impact of eating any of the contaminated fish. In the meantime, it amounts to an uncontrolled experiment on the environment and on human health. What's disturbing to river keepers and researchers is the refuges are protected lands meant to keep pollution away from fish, water, and wildlife. If we're seeing the effects of pollution there, uh, we would suspect that we're seeing it in, in our uh, waters that are less protected as well, and that, that is certainly concerning. Well, it shows that we need to do a better job to protect all our, all our watersheds. Whenever researchers get the money to go beyond the initial study and to do a definitive one, it won't be soon enough for river keepers and other environmentalists and even the government. For plenty of people want to know why some of the male fish here are developing female reproductive traits, whether it's a quirk of nature or whether it's something humans have done intentionally or even inadvertently to the water. In the Wallkill River National Wildlife Refuge, Michael Hill, NJTV News.